Hello. So, let's discuss simple stresses. Introduction. Uh, now, let's start with uh, statics and dynamics. Uh, this one, this subject or course speaks about or the focus is external effect of forces on rigid bodies. So, you're not concerned about the internal, uh, for example, uh, you have these bodies. Uh, for the statics, you're not concerned that this is, this will deform. Okay? If you put some compression, it will not deform. Okay? You are not concerned with the effect of the force to the internal. Okay? So that's the statics and dynamics. Now, in strength of materials, or in this case, uh, by the way, rigid bodies means indestructible, or konti lang yung deformation. Isa sa a little bit or negligible deformation. But in this case, the, the, a little bit deformation is very important. Okay, for the strength. Now, in the strength of materials, we are concerned about the internal effect. If you compress this uh, member, if you compress that one, certainly it will be destroyed and that's your concern in the strength of materials the internal effect deformation is major interest that's why uh, this subject is called deformable bodies okay now the concern of mechanical engineer is not only about the strength of materials but of course the rigidity now in your mechanics for example if you have here a load and you can compute for the reaction here, and that's it. Compute for the forces, and you're not concerned about the bending. But in actual, you have a bending. Nagbe-bend yan. And that is now in the realm of strength of materials. Later on, in the higher subject, you will have the machine design. Now again, the concern for uh, ME is the strength and rigidity. Okay? So, unti-unti lang. It started with the statics and dynamics. Then we go up with the strength of materials. We are now concerned with the deformation. Then later on, we are now concerned on the design. Okay? So, uh, that's another topic, uh, not topic, uh, subject. Machine design 1 and machine design 2. But, you must be familiar with statics and strength to go to machine, to machine design. Okay? Now, uh, let's analyze. You have these uh, forces. Okay, now, first, I have here a body, and this is thick, uh, symbolizes the, uh, the forces. It could be tension, like that, or compression, okay, for uh, forces at different direction, okay, so yan yon. Now, since we are concerned with the internal, we have to cut this. And we, we will study the uh, inside. So, it's like that. Then, we will cut this one. Of course, in actual, we will not cut. Styro lang kasi to. Kaya, yan. Then, the cutting or the plane is very important. Okay? Remember that. Diyan nagkakamali yung mga ibang studyante. The plane. The cutting plane. The plane where you study the, uh, the effect of the forces. Kasi ibang cut, iba ang analysis. Okay? For example, like that. Now, again, uh, assuming that these forces are in equilibrium. So, in mechanics, natutunan nyo yan in equilibrium. Now, another one, let's review mechanics. Okay? Let's review mechanics. In your mechanics, uh, you have here the coordinate system. Okay? Yan, and you have force. And you can transform this vector into component. Like that. Okay? Actually, 3D, you can do that in 3D. So, for example, like this. Okay? Like that. So, you have here a force like that. So, in 3-dimensional. You can transform this into X, Y, and uh, Z. Okay? So, you have Y, X, Z axis. That is three-dimensional. Okay? Now, mas madali dito. Kapag ito yung uh, 
Ang tawag dito? Rectangular component. Here is your force. Ganyan. Ganyan. Then, pwede mong gawing rectangular. Naka nakaayon sa you have y, x, and z axis. So, ganyan. 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 Okay, you, you can transform 2D and uh, the 3D. Now, another one is uh, you learn this in your mechanics. Ganyan. Force na ganyan. You can transform this one here. Okay? Magiging pupunta dito. Same angle. But, you must have a couple. Tawag dyan, core force couple system. So, hindi pwedeng, you cannot just transfer this one here. Unless, in the same action, tawag dyan is uh, transmissibility. You can transform that one as long as in the line of action. But, you cannot transfer that one here. Unless, you will have the couple. The couple, okay, in three-dimensional, actually, that is now, yung couple na ganyan, dito na sa axis na yon, Nakaganyan, ito yon. Ibig sabihin nun, iniikot niya. Yan yung ibig sabihin niyan. The effect of this one, iniikot niya yung member. Okay? So, that's the review in mechanics. Now, uh, this one, also, if you have many forces, like that one, like this, like that, you can create a resultant. Iisang force lang. Tawag dyan resultant. Okay. Now, bakit ko sinabi yun? Why did I uh, tell you about, about this review? Because we will be using this one here. Okay. Now, these forces, four forces, tatanggalin mo yan. Then, maybe, it has a single force na ganyan. And this single force, and we are studying this surface, this surface, in this single force, could be transferred here. Okay? Pero, there's a moment involved. And in this case, three-dimensional. So, meaning, magaganyan na siya. This one, yung apat kanina, the forces, four forces, yung effect niya sa surface na to, ito na. Okay? Yan. And, hindi lang yon. You have also, here, torque, ay paikot na ganyan. Later on, we will describe. Paikot, then paikot na ganyan din. May moment siya, yung kanina. Ito yon, naka two-dimensional lang yan. Pero sa three-dimensional, paikot. Ginaganon niya. Okay? Kung mapapansin ninyo, kung illustrate ko, gaganyan niya yung object. So, either tinitwist niya, binebend niya, halo-halo na yan. Then, sinishear niya, inihila niya, or kinocompress niya. Yan yung, gam yan yung effect ng forces. Kasi nga, ang discussion natin ngayon is effect of forces, di ba? Now, uh, again, let's go back. I-define natin. Or, let's analyze kung ano yung mga forces nito. Let's start with force. This one, force. Ang tawag dyan, axial. Bakit axial? In the axis. Ta ibang tawag dyan is uh, normal force. Bakit normal? Kasi nga, this is the surface na pinag-aralan mo. Again, it's very important, the surface. This is the surface. Wala nang iba. Yan, normal yan. Ibig sabihin nun, yung forces mo lang, either compression, kinocompress mo, or hinihila mo tension. Again, compression or tension. So, that's the axial. So, you have here, compression and, or tension. Okay? Now, ito yun, di ba? Ito yun. Ito naman, yung effect nito, perpendicular ito, ito is parallel. So, take note, parallel, the term parallel. Ang tawag dyan, shear force. Importante yan. You have to uh, remember. So, parallel. Ibig sabihin nun, ang effect nyan, sinishear niya, pinupunit niya ginaganyan niya, pinupunit niya yung body. If you have a paper, mas madali, it's like doing like that. Shear. That's the meaning of shear. Pinupunit in Tagalog. Okay? Eh, ano naman to? What's the effect of this force? Okay? In this surface. Okay? 
Hulaan nyo. Bigyan ko kayo ng 5 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay? Sheer din siya. Kaya lang pataas. Pinupunit din niya. Okay? Pataas nga lang. Okay. So, yun yung mga forces. Tatlo. Pero, nakalimutan natin, hindi ko pa di-discuss yung effect ng couple or yung moment dito. Either pa ganun or pa ganyan. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Ginaganyan niya. Tini-twist niya. Twist. Ibig sabihin niya yung torque or moment. Okay? Next. Ito naman. Yung nandito. Ganyan. Iniikot niya. Ginaganyan niya. Hindi yung torque. Take note. Nag-babase tayo sa surface. Baka sabihin yung torque yon Hindi. Ang ginagawa niya, anong ginagawa niya? Binebend niya. Yung body, binebend niya pa ganun. Tawag doon bending moment. Yung isa naman, yung nasa taas, ito, nasa taas, pa ganun, anong ginagawa niya? Binebend din. Ginaganyan na. Iba nga lang yung buka. Either pa ganyan o pa ganun. Okay, so meron tayong yung forces and moment na yon na discuss natin yung effect at importante yon kasi nga later on uh, magbe-base na magbe-base ka dito and later on we will combine these forces tawag doon combined forces again actual force compression tension shear force shearing pinupunit torque tuning twist bending flexural so yun yon 